and then being able to attend Stanford University, graduate in 2001, my dream to become a professional athlete really started, I would say, probably freshman, sophomore year in high school when I realized not only do I love this game, but the harder that I work, even though I was 6'5 by the time I was a sophomore, the harder that I work, I was differentiating myself from the rest by developing a three-point shot, being a face-up player, not just back to the basket. A modern basketball player can really do it all despite your position, despite your height. So I felt like, you know what, this is a realistic goal and this is something I want to make happen. So for me, it was planting the seed relatively early despite the fact I started a little bit later than most. And then once I got to Stanford, again, focusing on academics, knowing that that was always going to be a great plan and, and path for me. Um, and then once I did get drafted, I said, that's it. Like, this is happening and this is something I really wanted to accomplish. So. I put in the work. You know, I think anytime you put in the work, you feel well deserved. I really don't believe in having things handed to anybody in life. And I think as long as you're open and receptive to be 